Hey guys, it's Luke from Diamond Wake here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the O'Brien SOB. But before we get into this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and comment what you want to see us do next time. Now let's get into the review. So the board I have is the O'Brien SOB 2018, which is the same thing as the 2019 model, just a different color. You can get this board in 136cm, 140cm, or 144cm options. It's a hybrid board that you can ride on the boat and the cable. This means that the board has removable fins, which you can take off when you go to the cable park, or put back on when you're going behind the boat. One thing about the fins is they take a little bit of time to take off and put back on when you need to, but that's going to happen with any fins, so it's not really a problem with the design, it's just a little bit annoying. This board has a three-stage progressive rocker, which means that the middle is pretty flat, but it's kicked up towards the tip and the tail for extra pop off kickers and the wake. The board also ollies pretty well because of this. The board is pretty wide, so it's good for rails at the cable park, so you can stay stable. It's also good for the boat when you're trying to spray water, you can get a lot of it up because of the wide base. This board has Dura rail sidewalls for the cable, which hold up very well as I've had no problems with them. The fusion core means there's wood and foam in the core, meaning it's very durable and very springy for pop off the wake and kickers. The board is also very light and easy to carry around because of the foam. The SOB is a very flexible board, which is very good for the cable. The flexibility is good for cable parks because you can press on rails easily. The board has 6mm inserts, which means it'll take most bindings that aren't specifically made for different boards. The base of the board is an impact base, which protects it from rails or anything that you're sliding on. This works very well as I have a few scratches, but they don't impact performance at all. The bindings I ride are the O'Brien GTX. These bindings are stiffer than other bindings, which is good for responsiveness. The bindings have three velcro straps, which makes it easy to get in and out at the cable park and behind the boat, but also keep you locked in all across the foot. I have no real problems with the board as it's worked very well for me so far. Alright, so that's all for the SOB review. If you guys liked it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment what you want to see next time. We'll also have a Liquid Force FLX and Liquid Force Trip review coming in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.